Hey, what's going on? I'm Sinta with the Intel, and we are getting ready to watch Wednesday, episode seven. Our favorite creepy little Adams girl. It has been tons of fun. If you need to catch up some of the previous episodes, there's a link in the description below. But without any further ado, yo, let's go ahead and get this bad boy started. Second to last episode. Woo! So seven. Let's go. Whoa. Oh, she was ready. Still as sharp as ever, my pigtailed protege. He's faster. Uncle Fester. Yes, it's about time. Look at there. <laughs> I finally got my wish. <laughs> One of my favorite characters of the Adams family. I didn't. Your dad got all the brains. But I used to drop in on him. Usually from the ceiling with the dagger clutched between my teeth just to keep him on his toes. <laughs> The kind that means I need somewhere to lay low for a couple days. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, Uncle Fess. Welcome. Welcome to the cast, brother. <laughs> Haven't been able to identify it. Ooh. It's called a hide. Hide? Like Jekyll and Hyde? I showed up unannounced one night in Gomez's dorm room. Let's just say I wasn't interrupting a pillow fight. Uncle Fester. <laughs> She's like, I ain't trying to hear that. <laughs> Instead, I found a diary. We'll sneak into the Nightshade's library tonight. In the meantime, lay low. Don't eat the bees. I'd expect nothing less. the bees alone <laughs> my novel started out as a twisted fiction but somehow reality has turned it into my own personal looking glass hmm. i like the look of old school type of course goody is nowhere to be found when i need her hmm. but that can be just as annoying and unreliable as the living could you kind of sneak it in from where? Enjoy your solitude Wednesday. It's not solitude if you're still here. Mm. You know you care a little bit. Somebody in the comments has said Wednesday doesn't blink. <laughs> mm. Now I can't like unsee it. I'm like trying to catch her blink now. Uncle Fester? Oh. Who's Uncle Fester? What are you doing here? Well, since I'm an actual nightshade, I don't have to explain myself. That's quite true. On a monster? I'll save you some time. There's nothing in here matching that thing. Isn't that convenient? You know what your problem is? Uh-oh. Don't tell me my problem. Then on outreach day, you arrived at the meeting house just minutes after the monster had disappeared, yet you say you didn't see it. Mm. I didn't realize proximity was a crime. Nah, it's more Tyler, I think. Like me. What's to like? Damn, she said for whatever reasons I can't fathom or indulge. <laughs> How long have you been lurking? Long enough to feel the tension between you. <laughs> Show me the diary. Yeah. Here we are. Hey, it's cousin it. <laughs> was that a little courtesy? Is that what that was? <laughs> What's in the book? Ancient species of outcasts. Some sweet digs. How'd you swing your own single? My former roommate couldn't handle my toxic personality. Mm. Minotaur. Oh, there he goes. It's Liberator, who the creature now sees it's its master. It becomes the willing instrument of whatever nefarious agenda this new master yep. might propose. Yep. Anyone willing to? Tyler and Dr. Uh, 
Dr. Kinbit. That means I'm not looking for one killer, but two. Yep. It's the both of them. The monster and its master. <laughs> Oh, but then again, you know, she always comes out of left field, Thornhill. I was just working on my novel. Enid has requested to room with Yoko for the rest of the school year. Dang, you did lose your own girl. You two seemed as thick as thieves. Ultimately, thieves turn on each other. I've seen it with my own eyes. Deflect all you want, but you and I both know that you care about Enid. Mm-hmm, you do. Uncle Fester? <laughs> Uh oh. What is that? Is that an elephant ball thingy? No, like, like right now. Yeah, I know where that is. Okay, I can meet you there in like 20 minutes. That's what's her name, uh, the fish girl. Oh, first, we got her name. Oh, well, there's a psychiatrist. I thought it would have been Tyler and the psychiatrist. Wednesday. It can wait. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some homework I need to finish. Well, they're there. Kinbot has to be Xavier's master. The hide lays dormant until unleashed by a traumatic event or unlocked through chemical inducement or hypnosis. Ew. Are you listening? She must have figured out he was a hide and used hypnotherapy to unlock him. That would explain their secret sessions. Or the other way around. Cover. Relax. He's not interested in you. <laughs> uh, made you a quad. Like, oh, listen. House. Hey! I'm the catch. Thanks, kid. I'm the catch now. Uh. Tyler. This is my uncle Fester. Oh, uh, hi, it's nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 my dad's not here and I'm on a break. Well, apparently a hide needs to be unlocked by someone. It's master. Oh shit. And look who walks in the door, right? What'd I say? Hmm. Oh. Huh. Has to be dipping. Unique. Colorful. <laughs> Ironic considering Fester is the black sheep. He's harmless. So, about rescheduling our date. Oh, my man stays focused. Dang, she really did take all her stuff and dip, huh? Planned. I guarantee this one won't make you pass out cold. But you do have to close your eyes. Are you serious? <laughs> How do you feel about scary movies? <laughs> look, look, I saw a little smile. That's a scary movie for her, I bet. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's some teeny butt movie. Legally blonde. <laughs> Hate me, I'm just gonna come out and say it. I want us to be more than friends. Wow. Okay. Hey, you can keep trying to push me away. It's not gonna work. I almost killed you. I survived. Beginner's luck. Kind of tougher than you think. <laughs> All right, I don't want him to be the bad guy. It matches the description of the one the bank robber stole. There's a canoe missing. Figured he might be holed up on Raven Island. I'm not gonna even ask what this is. <laughs> you here. You got it? Unbelievable. <laughs> At least he was cool about it. Dang, somebody went through all your stuff. Thing? No. Oh. Wow. Dang. Dang. 
He gonna kill Fang. No way. He's gotta come back. There we go. Who did this to you? Knife from behind the back. Cowards. Promise that whoever did this to you will suffer. I believe her. Mm. Thank you, Miss Thornhill. I'll mm. take it from here. Of course. If you need anything, I'll be right down the hall. Spreading the church's business, huh? Can't have regular people in the room listening and stuff like that. That look right there, like, what are we going to do with you? It's Adams. I believe her. To fit into all of this. The monster is called a hide. It's been doing Laurel's bidding. She controls it. Mm. You know who Laurel is, don't you? It's the doctor. Doctor. Yep. There we go. Did then a psychiatrist under the guise of visiting another patient? So. You're not actually accusing me of murdering the mayor. The roses you left in Eugene's room were your That, that was what got me. Damn. Let's sit back and watch what she does with the information, right? It's Tyler. I still think it's Tyler. Still. Who is it? It's gotta be Tyler. Oh. Well. There's that. She's gone. Dr. Kimbat's dead. Dang. <laughs> Don't forget your latest I edition. Bot's necklace. No, no, no. Somebody planted that stuff. Please! Drop the knife. Yup, he's protecting his son, huh? Appreciate the help, Adams. You, you framed me. I'm being set up. I should have let Rowan kill you. Hey. Why the sudden change of heart? Because we work. We shouldn't, but we do. It's like some sort of weird friendship anomaly. <laughs> It was interrupted. Well, mm -hmm. I heard Tyler's working the late shift. Mm -hmm. I just want to know how the mom ties in all of this. Oh. <laughs> yep. Looking right back at you. Tyler. You okay? It's Tyler. Of course, the first boy I kissed would turn out to be a psychotic serial killing Call monster. Call it. <laughs> it makes for a better story if it's Tyler. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. I bet he doesn't even know it's him. Maybe Tyler is the one that did his mama in, and he doesn't reckon he doesn't remember it. Maybe that's a part of the whole uh, hide process that you know you you monster out, um, and then you kind of like come to, and you just don't know, you know what happened, and being that his father is the sheriff of the town, you know, he can cover up a lot of that, you know, cause, cause he lost his wife. He doesn't want to lose his son too, even though his son is probably the cause of why the mom dad died. I, you know, I'm spitballing, but I, you, I called it though. Called it. I, I called a lot of other things too. So it's not a hundred percent victory, but <laughs> yeah, that's part of the fun of the, of these whodunits, you know, it's like, you know, it, they do all these interesting things to kind of like lead you astray and stuff. Um, but Valerie Kinbit probably indirectly brought out his hide, didn't even realize it. Maybe that's what it is. She dug deep enough that the traumatic experience 
uh, awokened it and there you go it hence the hide coming back to the doctor's office uh because it needed help or maybe like subconsciously needed help i still don't know how um how marilyn thornhill is a part of all of this because you know like we said before in other previous episodes she knows where like some of the secrets are at and and her um marilyn thornhill and principal weems have like a i guess an interesting kind of space that they that they share together when wednesday and principal weems were uh when well when wednesday spilled the beans in principal weems office you know she kind of like paused her for a second and was like hey you know miss thornhill you, you kind of got a roll hey we got a chance to see uncle fester finally finally got a chance to see uncle fester i the the verdict is still out i don't know if he knocked it out the park i don't think anything happened exactly that like blew me away with a fester uh type of performance it was just kind of like you know it is it was what it was you know i, I didn't i wasn't like particularly moved but we still have time right it's only like the first episode and who knows what the uh what the actor uh could bring back to it uh, you know, he, he kind of looks like in the in the face a little bit. And especially I'm looking at his page on, on IMDb. His name is uh, Fred uh, Armisen. Um, he reminds me of, oh, my God, I can't think of the name of the dude that played in um, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. <laughs> he looks like, uh, at least to his IMDb page, if you look at him on his IMDb page, it looks very Rick moranish Mick Rick Moranish. So, yeah, that performance was just, it was just okay. I can't lie, though, you know, when, when Thing uh, got stabbed got ran through i was like man could they possibly you know close out of an adams or something like that and because you never know maybe you know that hand you know thing dies and then the right hand dies and then the left hand shows up and they continue with the joke or whatever i don't know i don't know but i i, I wasn't 100 percent certain that they may that he may make it what i did though enjoy was a cool little nugget when uh they went to uh to get the book the diary and it was behind uh, the the picture of a uh, cousin it, <laughs> so that that was cool. I I do appreciate that. You know, go back in there and have another little quick little hat tip. I do kind of want to see more of of Uncle Fester though. I I, I do want more. I want to give that that performance a chance to you know bring more to the table. Yeah, I think that was I think that was pretty much it. You know, um, how many? How are you looking on your on your Wednesday bingo card? You know, where, did you call? Uh, uh, Dr. Kinbit, or were you on Team Tyler and or Team Xavier? You know, they leaned real heavy on Team Xavier. Anytime something they lean a little too heavy on anyone, I kind of automatically kind of go the other way. Uh, but I don't know if that was on your on your Who Done It bingo card. I'm sure some of y'all had Principal Weems on your on your card as well. Who else could have been on that card? Uh, Thornhill. Thought I'd heard like a weird, crazy theory that you know possibly uh, Enid Enid could have been it, but um, you know, we'll see how. How, who screams out Yahtzee? I don't know how we're going to close all of this out because I know we have one more episode left in the season. Uh, episode seven coming like, right, no, episode eight coming right around the corner. Hey, thank you all so much for hanging out with me and kicking it. And if you want to support the channel, go ahead and hit that subscriber button and or, you know, give us those thumbs up because that's how the people know you're digging what I'm giving you. And we also got like some cool little merch too. You know, I got some mugs with the Cinto picture on it and some shirts, you know, it's all cool stuff. Hey, all right, well, I won't keep you any longer, and I will catch you for the season finale right around the corner. All right, peace out.